So, with Q4 around the corner, how do we press prepare? Well, it's having the conversation with our financial officer, having the conversations with the founders, realigning our goals with what we want to accomplish this Q4, and ultimately just keeping our eyes lasered in on how can we increase the profit from our P&L sheet month over month. Well, there are a couple of metrics that are really our North Star, especially with paid advertising. Now, the conversation with attribution is it's pretty simple, but it's complex. The concept, for example, is simple to understand, but the complexities and the nuances when making decisions in the ad account, that's where it kind of gets tricky. So attribution, if you're advertising on more than one platform, then attribution gets messy, right? If you're advertising on Meta, Google, and let's say a third channel, and then you have email flows, you have uh, SMS, what happens is any advertising channel that's running ads, they are going to try to report their data, especially last click, so that when you log into the attribution or the ads manager, doesn't matter the platform, they're taking more credit than what was to rent, right? In the attribution setting post iOS updates, there's no longer a sense of truth that's completely accurate, right? You're gonna have data that's over reporting, you're gonna have data that's under reporting. That's just the nuance of attribution. Now, of course, there's ways we can mitigate that risk and try to be as accurate as possible. But at the end of the day, somebody can come across a meta ad, they don't convert, they come across a Google search ad, they still don't convert, they go to the site organically, they convert after like seven days, then who, who's gonna get credit for that, that contribution? As you notice, it's easy for you to just focus on attribution when it's just one channel, but complexity happens as you add more channels into the mix as every customer journey isn't the same. Now there is ways we can mitigate that, but once we advertise on more than one ad channel, we understand the customer journey to an extent, then we're not going to just say, okay, meta attributions are north star we're not going to utilize in in-app attribution to make decisions we're not going to take meta's word over google so on and so forth but we use third-party attribution tracking platforms like north beam platforms like triple wool to see okay on a holistic level what is our blended average order value from the total sales generated in shopify what is our average order value what's our average cost per action or cpa from there, we can look at blended metrics like, okay, um, more so in the short term, we have our CPA, we have our AOV. We can look at uh, those blended, like blended AOV, blended CPA. And of course, you can also look at inside the attribution manager, then you might wanna go more in depth uh, with 70 click, one day view, so on and so forth, or, or uh, one day click, seven day view, so on and so forth. So you have different attribution windows, different attribution settings, but at scale, we really want to lock in on AOV CPA on a blended scale. EVR could be telling, but it's not really going to give you full context because in December, your EVR could be top notch. And then the moment January hits right, the slow period, there's a decrease in sales. Your EVR is going to look terrible. So there are nuances, but the North star with anything is like our blended CPA our blended AOV. If you want to be specific about this, you can look at your blended return on ad spend, but that's not really telling. The main thing is like CPA and AOV. Can I keep lowering our CPA? Can I keep raising our AOV? And then from an incrementality lift perspective, from the current ad spend I'm spending, how much traffic is going into site? Do I notice a correlation in search volume? Do I notice a correlation in uh, site visits? Because if I run meta ads, and I know my meta ads, my meta campaigns are used for prospecting to grow that acquisition system, to grow, uh, to get new customers to the ecosystem. But for example, we're out of season and efficiency just doesn't look good on paper. But I know the moment I turn off that ad campaign on meta, my search volume goes down, right? There's second, third order consequences within my business that's thriving from paid ads, right? Paid ads is having benefits outside of just conversions, right? Search volume goes up, organic goes up, email signups go up, so on and so forth. So when it comes to analyzing decisions, we don't want to just favor one platform over the other. That's not ideal, especially if we're running on more than one channel. Secondly, as far as Northstar metrics, 
we need to look at our PL sheet at the end of the month. We need to see, okay, with the amount of revenue, with the amount of ad spend, what is the efficiency of this? How much profit are we making? And then from there, it's reverse engineering backwards on, okay, what can I do to lower the CPA? What can I do to raise the AOV? Now, once that's established, once I understand that relationship, now I can look at the blended metrics and I'll try to understand incremental lift. Because if I know CPA, if I look at AOV and I look at ad spend, and I see uh, the amount of search volume, I see the amount of email signups, the amount of add to carts, the amount of conversion rate, and I see there's higher conversion rates, there's higher uh, search volume when uh, we we're advertising, then I might look at ways to keep expanding that funnel, right? I might look at different compelling offers to push on the front end. Because apart from lowering your CPA, that comes with consistent offers being tested, uh, consistent creatives calling out your ideal customer profile, so on and so forth. So when it comes to attribution, you can go super quant and follow contribution margin, which is tracking every ad dollar spent, uh, tracking expenses, uh, having a forecast to see, okay, during this threshold to be within KPI, if I'm trying to hit this amount of gross margin target, well, then I need to spend this amount of ad dollars that's forecasted. And then uh, contribution margin on a daily scale, then you fluctuate your ad spend to fit to make sure you hit your goal within month to month to month. That's full quant uh, at scale that gets very, very difficult. The other side of the spectrum is looking at North Star metrics, CPA, AOV, consistently expanding the funnel. And then we know that the algorithm is gonna change and fluctuate day over day, but we're looking at everything on a higher long time perspective, right? So those are kind of the two different methodologies when it comes to attribution. But if I were to put it simple, we want to figure out what our PL is, what our profit margin is, and what can we do to continually increase our profit margin. The reason where marketers go wrong is that they believe they make decisions, but it's not growing the profit margin, right? They're just focused on in-app optimizations, favoring ROAS, favoring MER, favoring these in-app distortions where Meta is ultimately just telling you, hey, we want you to spend more money with this, so we're gonna over-report data or under-report data. So what separates like a media buyer from like a really good performance marketer is the nuances and the context that applies with, if we run a Meta ad that's going broad, that's top of funnel focus, how does this ad campaign affect other layers outside of the business? That's where a performance marketer understands the nuances and applies this to make the best decision so that at the end of every single month, we're increasing the profit margin. But that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, drop them down below. If you want to skip the phase of you getting burned by ad agencies, you can book a call at scalevelocity.io. You can also read my free 30 page protocol and Q4 is around the corner. If you're really looking to scale, you want to get set up for an exit to carry you through even to 2025, make sure you check out scalevelocity.io. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.